I'm about to bust life down for y'all. Your presidents, your government, your American government stole $30 trillion from some serious ass people. Your American government stole $30 trillion and paraded bullshit in front of the people they stole the money from. You give your child $100 to pay for their senior pictures, their senior package at school, their yearbook, their prom, the after parties, whatever. It's $100 for a senior package. You give your kids $100. He take that $100 and go buy him a pair of Jordans. You done already went and prepared this tuxedo and everything. You got everything for they, prom, they senior year together. But he didn't buy the senior package. He went and bought some motherfucking sneakers instead. As a parent, you gonna beat the shit out that motherfucker. Because number one, $100 is hard to come by nowadays. Number two, you told him what the fuck to do with that money. Go get your senior package. And he go buy some sneakers. You ain't giving him another $100 to go buy a senior package. He won't go to no prom. He won't get no pictures in the yearbook. He won't be at the after parties. He won't do shit. He's going to be excluded from his whole senior year because he took that $100 and went and bought some Jordans instead of paying for his senior package like his mother gave him the money to do. And now he's walking around in front of them Jordans in front of his mother. She's like, where you get them shoes from? Oh, you know, my homeboy was giving them, you know, he, they, yeah, he didn't like them, so he gave them to me. Lying and shit, right. Oh, okay, cool. And Those are some nice sneakers, though, running around in them Jordans all cute and shit, right. So she like, so where's, where's, where's the... The tickets and things for your senior package, huh? Where's the tickets for your senior package, huh? Where the fuck is the tickets for your senior package? My lied, I went and bought Jordans with that. Can I get another hundred dollars? Then your mother start duking you out, bitch. No the fuck you didn't buy motherfucking Jordans with my motherfucking last hundred dollars. Right. That was a sacrifice for me, little motherfucker. I guess you're going to be mad. You ain't going to remember your senior year unless you're walking around with your camera phone, bitch. You're going to be at the prime outside looking at everybody. I guess you about to go and clean some lawns up and shit to get $100. Because I ain't fucking with you. Right. And all of you who got them stimulus, stimulus checks and shit, y'all know that was part of that $30 trillion. So that's why God fucking y'all up. God said, take your thirsty, greedy asses back to fuck the work. Because you received stolen money. When you receive stolen money, oh, you get the karma from that stolen money, right? You damn sure do. Not at all you guys know that money is stolen. If you didn't know it was stolen before, it's stolen. Stop begging for it. Because if you keep begging for stolen money, God going to show you what he do for, with thieves. He cuts your fucking hands off, right? God cuts thieves' hands off, right? He may not literally cut your hand off, but trust me, he going to cut off some shit you thoroughly need, right? Keep thirsting for that stolen money from your American government, dear lazy citizens of Wakanda. If you keep thirsting for that stolen $30 trillion, that money, because it don't matter what money America got. It's all stolen now because they owe $30 trillion and they want their money. They don't give a fuck if they bought satellites and shit. They want them to hand them a $30 trillion cash. Right. They want it in cash. $30 trillion in cash because that's what they gave them. They gave them $30 trillion in cash, right, and split it up for different sectors to take care of different things, right? How the fuck Trump take 10% out of that money? Shit, that, hell, $30 million? No, that ain't even 10%, right? But Trump, no, because the billion would have been, right? Because remember, they ran Trump's stats and was like, how the fuck Trump get $30, trillion, $30 million from China? Why does, why, why does... Why does Trump have $30 million stashed in China, right, under a pseudonym? Nah, bitch, you the president. We know everything about your funk ass, right, right. They told on Trump in the beginning. No, what y'all should have did was pull up my car. Pelosi should have said, Davinia, hello, my name is Nancy Pelosi. Um, right, Trump? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Uh-uh-uh-uh. If, if she would have said, uh-uh-uh-uh, she had to say no more. 
I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. And she just said, mm-hmm. And I just said, don't you worry, your pretty motherfucking head. And I'd have toe that motherfucker in half. I'd have ripped, I'd have turned Trump upside down, took him one foot by the other, and ripped that motherfucker like this. Right. Straight up the fucking half. Right. Like, you know how they split a pig in half? Right. From his motherfucking dick on down? Right. Oh, I'm going to get Trump. I can't wait. I can't wait. I hate when a white man think anything funny. I can't stand when black people think anything funny. But when a white motherfucker think anything funny, yo. It gets under my skin. And that's why they fuck with me the way they do. Because I hate ignorance. And that's all they do is be ignorant. I truly... And one person who hates ignorance more than I hate bad breath. Because you shouldn't, ain't no reason to have bad breath. You just a stank ass motherfucker. You, you lazy as fuck if your breath stank. Right. You just a sorry lazy motherfucker if your breath stank. Brush your teeth multiple times a day. Eat some gum. Have some mints. Whatever. You a lazy bitch if your breath stank. So with that being stated. I hate a giggly white motherfucker more than I hate bad breath. I hate a giggly white motherfucker more than I hate doing push-ups. I do sit-ups before I do push-ups, right? And trust me, my sit-ups ain't that pretty, but whatever. Mm-mm, right. Oh, hold on. Right. <laughs> Stop trying to fuck with me, dear Wakanda, about Wakandan issues. Pretend I'm over there in Spain. Pretend I'm over there in Africa. Pretend I'm in Coronaville. Shit, I might have went to Jamaica. Y'all don't know where the fuck I'm going to be. Right. I ain't banned from these islands. I can go wherever the fuck I want to go. I ain't banned from nowhere. I can go wherever the fuck I want to go. I go over there and chill with the white bitch in the UK. I don't give a fuck. The European bitch with the blonde hair who thinks she princess, princess Diana. I go over there and go sit on her motherfucking couch. And not give a fuck. I will go wherever I want. I ain't banned from nowhere. But you're banned from Dove and Love Nation. Right. You're banned from Dove Nation like a motherfucker. Energetically. Right. But I'm just going to burn up the Ukraine so that talk could shut the fuck up. Because Ukraine already been evacuated for the most part. It has. That's why it looks empty when they show it across the TV. It's empty as fuck. Because they know how I am. Oh, Davina's probably going to have us evacuated. And she's probably just going to bomb it up or something to shut these motherfuckers up. Right. Nah, God said he's going to sage it. He's going to set the bitch on fire. Let it burn for about a week or so. Don't worry about it. He got it. Right. Because he's tired of hearing it. Ain't no white man ruling this motherfucking earth. Never did. Right. God said my people are of color. He said, how many leaders I got? I'm, I, right. He said, how many kings and queens I got? God said, check yourself or you wreck yourself. How many kings and queens are white? God said, none, because queens not white. Right. God said, I don't have any white kings or queens. I don't know where the fuck y'all got that from. Look around. All my kings and queens are of color. Right. The Middle East owns most of... Own, right. The Middle East had control of... 95% of the world so that it can give me my percentage, right? The Middle East was, was in control of everything. That's why it's like, if America don't get the fuck out of our face with all these motherfucking Middle Eastern wars, Davinia, please go and move to the islands. You said you was moving to, to, to St. Croix. Please move to St. Croix so we can blow America the fuck up because we tired of this shit, Davinia. Davinia, move to St. Croix. It ain't that expensive. Make that your first step. And that's what I was doing in 2019, preparing to move to St. Croix in 2021, right? Thank you very fucking much, right? While I'm trying to start wars and I'm a threat and, and I'm some demon and I ain't none of that shit. I'm a regular human being who God said I'm not going to let die unless I want her to die. But she's flesh and blood and bone like you, motherfucker, right? She just my elite amongst many others. 
And you ain't none of them, Wakanda. Right. No white man or white woman is a king or queen on this motherfucking earth. They definitely are not. Right. That's why God was mad when Prince Charles called himself fucking with Diana. You're Spanish. What the fuck are you doing messing with a white bitch? Right. Fuck. And then you still got you another white bitch. God said that's why you can't get right. Right. You need to hear that, Prince Charles. That's why your life fucked up. Why the fuck you keep marrying these white bitches? Right. You making your motherfucking bloodline white. Right. No disrespect to the to 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 son son Willie, but nah. He's supposed to be totally Spanish, right? And whooping on motherfucking ass. Now look at him. He got a bald spot and shit, right? No, he's supposed to have that beautiful, curly, thick hair. Don't you got a hair full of hair, Prince Charles? Why your son bald? Diana bullshit, right? Her and her daddy net, right? Her and her daddy bald headed ass, right? Go and get you some hair plugs then. Damn, if you don't want to shave it all off and be a sexy, handsome, bald head, go get you some fucking hair plugs. Now, you a goddamn prince. Nah, Will. Let me get on your ass. You a prince and you're young. Get the fuck on with that. Your wife is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, what if she look at your head one day and say, I can't handle that. You look like an old ass man. I want a divorce. What you gonna do? You look older than her. Stop fucking playing now. You a young man. You're handsome. Do something with that head now. That's why I was like, how the fuck old is they again? Right. No, and damn well, y'all ain't nowhere near my age. I don't look like you. Right. My husband don't look like you. My next husband don't look like you. We all got hair on our head and we way older than you. Right. Go on and do something with yourself. <laughs> there ain't no diss, but I'm telling you, Kate gonna get sick of looking at your ass like that. I ain't saying she do now, but I'm saying she gonna get sick of looking at you. By the time she 45, she gonna say, yo. Get the fuck on with that hair. You look like you my daddy, not my husband. Right. It always come a time where a woman gets sick of looking at her husband. If he not looking how she want him to look. Right. If you don't look how your, woman, your wife wants you to look, she gets sick of looking at you. Especially if she still look gorgeous than a motherfucker. Right. It's just your hair. Come on now. Fix your hair. I ain't going to keep talking to you about it. That's a warning though. 